Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick as possible. Richie Jacobs says, If Satan is chained up in the bottomless pit for a thousand years, how can he be dwelling on the earth? Just confused, because I know the Bible can't contradict itself, so I must not be understanding something. Thanks. Right, so what you're referring to when Satan is chained up the bottomless pit it is in Revelation 20 and then in dwelling on earth well <clears throat> uh, yeah let's see let's go let's do it this way first of all oh uh, let's do it this way get it real quick be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour and look the devil and Satan is the same thing oh, let's do it this way and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and Satan so Dragon, serpent, devil, Satan, all the same thing. So let's go to Revelation 20, where it says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven. This is a indicator that this is a new vision. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning of Revelation, Jesus is showing John these visions. And here's another vision. Having the key, the angel came down from heaven, having a key, of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more Till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. So this is the key. Satan is sealed up so that he will not deceive the nations no more. So there was a difference in the way the world was before Jesus. And there's going to be a big difference after the return of Jesus. But this does not mean that Satan doesn't have an effect on people's lives. This is about the nations. The nations. Not about the people. There's a difference. So to understand this, you get, that's important to understand. But then to understand also what's about to happen when he is loosed a little season that's just as important okay and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of men that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshiped the beast neither in his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived in the ring with Christ a thousand years but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection on such that the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Now this is the key. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. All right, so remember that. Understand that. So when Satan is bound, he is not allowed to go out and deceive the nations that they might gather together against God. Okay? You could go to the Old Testament and read examples of... Uh, Nation, uh, nations coming against the Israel and so forth, against Judah and what have you, against the nation of God, right? But now that Jesus has come, the 
we the availability if you will of the Holy Spirit is uh, given to all who will believe so both the Jew and the Gentile might be saved all right so this is this is different than what it was in the Old Testament where uh, God gathered his people into like one group uh, now the nation of God is spread out all around the world and so when Satan is bound for this thousand years he cannot go out and gather armies against the nation of God but when the thousand years is finished so that is when we are lifted up in the air to be with Jesus and that's all that's on the return of Jesus we're lifted up you know first the dead in Christ and then us that remain lifted up to be in the air then our enemy is, is at our feet and just as we read tell our tell he has made his enemy his footstool right just like what we read in Genesis 3 and his heel shall bruise thy head so also we will be up in the air with Jesus and our enemy down below will be gathered together and then what happens and they went up to on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the Saints about in the bluff city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be torment, tormented day and night forever and ever. So this is the difference. So at the end of the world, we are lifted up and then Satan is loosed to gather together the enemies or to gather together the unsaved, which is the enemy. And fire comes down out of, out of heaven and destroys them. It's like what we read in Revelation 3 when it says, I will make them to come and worship at thy feet. That's what it's talking about also. We're getting uh, n n numerous examples of the end time scenario. And this is just another one. And so when we read up here, and it says, cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. That's what it's referring to, is Satan's ability to gather the people against God. He no longer has that ability. Uh, but at, at the end of the world, God will loose him, let him go, and he will gather together. The enemies of God and fire will come down from heaven and destroy them all. That's all that means. Okay. And it, people want to make a bigger deal out of it is than it is. It's not that complicated. It's rather simple and it's consistent with everything else we read all throughout the Bible. All right. So I hope that answers. I wanted to make that sh this short, but it's impossible. Now I can't make nothing. I'm long-winded on everything. So anyways, thanks for that question. I appreciate it. If you have follow-up, please do, please do ask.